Everybody, welcome to another assembly tutorial. We're going to write an actual functioning program that uh, is similar to one that you'd find in C or C++. Okay, so let's get to it. Um, if you were, just make it, go ahead and make a file, call it um, assembly1.asm or whatever else you want to name it. So we have our file with the ASM as, uh, extension for assembly, and so let's set up our basic templates for all of our assembly uh, programs. And usually, this is what you have for um, any typical assembly program that you want to write. You have your, your uh, data section, which is going to include um, initialized data. And you're going to have your text section, which is going to include all your actual assembly code. And here, you're going to have your uninitialized um, variables. So these are for variables and th these are for variables as well. And you can put these arrangements in in however way you please um, just so long as you have them. And really if you don't use any uninitialized variables you don't need to have one. So let's go ahead and erase it for now because for this program we're not going to actually need one. Okay so now um, let's write a simple program that displays something to the screen. Um, but in this case, we're not going to use the system call, um, and we're not going to use the Linux system call. We're actually going to use a real uh, C type of uh, function called the printf. Um, uh, if you've done any C programming, you're very well aware of what this is. Um, but it's just a, a function for those of you who don't already know. Okay, so let's actually define some uh, things that we're going to be printing to the screen. And first of all, we're going to print out a message. So message and zero. So it's good to document stuff as you go ahead um, and write stuff, because um, here this means this is a comment and the zero is like having a null at the end of uh, your message so that uh, when assembly displays this message it knows where to stop so this tells it to stop and 10 is for uh, carriage return so we return to the next line and this is the actual message that we want to display okay um, so yeah that's it so and remember that um, labels are treated as memory locations. Okay, so now we're inside of our uh, text section, which is our code. So we can actually begin coding. Uh, what we're going to do now is do global main. All this does, it tells us that we're going to have a label called main. And what global does, it's a reserved word inside of the um, assembly language to have our symbol here, main, be able to be available outside of our immediate program. So some other program later on the road will be able to find our program and know where to start. Okay, so we have our label, so let's get coding. Uh, first thing we want to do is uh, set up our stack frame, which is push ebp, because we're saving whoever called main, our, which is in this case, it's going to be an operating system that's going to call main. We're going to save its uh, base pointer and we're going to create a new one by doing. Okay, so this takes the stack pointer and moves it into uh, EBP base pointer, effectively creating a new one. So that's set setting up our stack frame. And so now let's destroy our stack frame after we're done with the function. Um, so I'm going to do, we're going to restore this one that we saved, we're going to restore the stack pointer. And so this is the entire, this is the entire function, it's like having, uh, it's like having void main and in between the parentheses here is where our code will go. So that's what's going on. 
Um, and now let's go ahead and call this function or print out the message to the screen. And how we do that is by saying push. What this does is, it, and remember this is our label up here, it pushes this address. So all this does is translate to something like push let's say that was a memory address, it pushes that memory address into onto the stack and now we're gonna call printf. Um, I forgot to mention that before we call printf we need to be able to make sure that our program knows where knows that uh, we're using a variable that has not been declared in our program but is available somewhere else and how we do that is by saying external printf. That's all. This tells the assembly program that our printf function is not inside of our a source code. It's available externally. Simple enough. Okay, so what we have here is the, the creation of the stack, destruction of the stack, our function body, and we push the me memory address of our message, and we're calling the printf function. And that's, that's it. So we save our file and we go to the command line and we're going to say, you know, list all the file, our file is there. So we're going to say um, NASM, which is netwide assembler, uh, uh, file format ELF, output to ASM.1. That's the name of the file that we're going to be creating and the input file is going to be ASM1.ASM. Okay. And uh, that, as you can see, it creates the file that we're looking for. Now, what we're going to do now is use GCC, the general C++ compiler, and output the final program. This is the output. And use the input as ASM1.0. And it should compile successfully. And as you can see here, this is our actual program. And now we're going to do dots forward slash ASM1 and if all goes well it should compile successfully and as we just saw it actually did display our message in assembly so alright we have just gone through a successful uh, simple C uh, sorry assembly program and uh, written something that works in the next tutorial we'll go in into more depth and um, show you some more cool stuff with assembly go ahead and rate and subscribe okay thank you and I'll see you till next time